What did she say? I'd been interested in seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. What did we watch? Um, let's see. We probably watched either uh, Fall Guy. Fall Guy was an interesting movie, yeah. I think so too. I liked how it showed me a perspective of some men. It's kind of silly at the end, but you know, I, I, I'm okay with it. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. Oh uh, no, she's talking about a quiet and the place. One character left one day. Behind to go on a journey. Or, or day one. That really struck a chord with me. Yeah, yeah, me too. <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Or that scene where she's walking in the so, street, ready to just like let go of everything. Place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are. Absolutely. Just to get away from everything? I see. Aw, oh, bruh. So you feel that way too sometimes. Absolutely, bro. I'm on an anonymy type beat. Take me to Malaysia, bro. It's just that every now and then Malaysia. the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company. The weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even kind of wish life, that I wasn't shackled by the Kirijo family name. <sighs> That's why you gotta go on vacation every now and then, I understand bro. that Just I can't get away from to her. think this way. Listen to me, complaining like this. How pathetic. How human is what Talking you meant to, to say. Talking to become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Not at all! Vent all you want. Gotta let it out, That's otherwise it bottles up. Very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. Sir seems to trust me. I feel like a relationship has grown closer. Thank you. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. So, hypothetically, let's say that I was interested. Are you blushing, ma'am? I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Why can't you be with him? Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. That's up to you. That's up to you. You decide. It's your life. It can be your life if you want it to be. Up to me. Ah, uh, there you are. Huh? Hey, Mitsuru. Mitsuru, my ass hurts. <laughs> Who's this chump? I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Um, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. You're weird, bruh. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. Absolutely. Go home and eat. Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Brother, You're a brother. I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Obedience? Why must you and your family always you want an be so man type be? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. That's horrible. I imagine you feel the same. How? Why won't you? Yo, get the How whip. How dare you say that? Talk to him, Mitsuru. Don't insult her father. How are you gonna talk bad about the dead like that? And she's supposed to be your Thank wife, you. bruh. Yo, who <laughs> the hell are you? This is none of your business. What kind of lucky, bro? Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, yet you're you acting on a child, bro. My knowledge and experience, and the no, sir, I got books for that. Still needs the cooperation of my company. Hell no, nah. I'm gonna pull out this scandal, bro, about you being a predator. Yes, and it's over for your entire company. Good girl, Mitsuru. Oh, I hell knew nah. you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. 
Man, ain't nobody want to eat at no luxurious Ooh. restaurant when Hagakure exists. I wish you had seen bitch ass up. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. Mitsuru, don't go. I'm sorry. Really? Don't let him treat you like that. Please excuse me. It's immoral. It's inhuman. Don't give in. Don't give in. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. No Long way you're actually through. still Hurry gonna up. go with him. By the way, you. Who yes. Do you think you are worming your way into her favor? I'm her friend, bro. You you're not even her friend, but you want to be her fiance. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't it's you your fault that the economy is just fucked up because you don't want to share your goddamn wealth. You have millions and billions of dollars. You I'm don't want to give it to the fucking seventy percent that can't There's live, bro. There's a world of difference between you and us, Mitsuru. Take care not to associate with his kind anymore. <gasps> now he's racist, Mitsuru. Now it's racism. I said that's enough. I won't Back let you him. insult him. What? Why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you Ooh. insult him, you insult me. Ooh. Mitsuru? What are you saying? You would side with him over me? Absolutely. You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Damn well, straight right. there is. You can't compare to him at all. <laughs> he stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. That's Masuru looking I, right into I, us, bro. I want to be with him. <gasps> and forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? She confessed? What are you trying to say? She said you're trash, you're, you're garbage, you got no ways. No bitches, bro. Are you Not that Mitsuru's one. Beneath this nobody, take that back. Nobody. At Mitsuru. My friend circle is probably ten late times time for yours, bro. Think nobody about likes you. Future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today. We'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! Banished. What? Be gone. <gasps> Cease your speaking. Grandpa! Grandpa! Look at you. Look at you. Someone talked back and now you got nothing to stand on, bruh. <sighs> I... Mitsuru! I decided to return to the dorm. Ah, oh, yeah, bro. Yep. My mind is... Yo, Akinari? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. Fuck you, Akinari. Fuck you. I would much rather hang out with Mitsuru. Mm. Oh, what's a makatsu? The food here is delicious. Um, I want to ask you something. And I'd like you to answer honestly. Um, say. Are you interested in anyone? Yes, ma'am. Makoto. Let me do you right. Yes, ma'am. I. I see. See. But I... Oh, well, never mind. Please forget I said anything. You didn't ask who. It made her sad? Makoto, <laughs> <laughs> I fumbled for you, bro. I really wanted to try asking for a second helping while we were here, but... I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I fumbled the bag! I ate into my stomach. Yo, Makoto didn't give a shit, bruh. <laughs> he said, I'm eating this food right here, right now. And nobody's gonna stop me. <laughs> yep, let's go, bruh. I've been I've been waiting for this. I know I gave you some trouble the other day. It's been on my mind this whole while. If we meet, I'd like to talk to you. Yep. Yep. Makoto, I got you, bruh.
I got you, Red. Sorry. Uh, salut. Salut. I need to talk to you. I'm pretty sure you already know about what. Getting spicy. Mm. It's getting a little hot in here. My apologies. In that case, can we go to the rooftop? Ah, oh, yeah, bro. The classic place. Yeah, what's this? This goofy ass music. For? All right. I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. And this is um. The first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. <sighs> what am I doing? What I'm trying to say is... We need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. No need. I'm sorry for what happened last time. Not your fault. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Fucking pick that option, bro. Oh, so it did. <laughs> when that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. Overstimulated. It happens. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I thought I did something wrong. I'm telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Bro, don't act dumb, bruh. Don't act dumb, bruh. This ain't the time to be to, to be to fucking What's that word, bro? It's not naive. It's like I don't know what that word is called and it pisses me off. It's like Oblivious. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for, but it's pretty close. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage. But every time, I've always been thinking of you. Now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. Here goes. I... I... Love you. <sighs> Makoto, if you don't say it back right now, bro, you're full- you're fumbling the bag, bro. Sura's voice is trembling, but I choose my words carefully. I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. <laughs> yes! Say it, Makoto! Say it, bro! I love you too. You love me too? When we were eating avocado, I, I was talking about I'm you! I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say, I'm. Thankful? <laughs> My heart. <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. Whack. <laughs> Whack. I can sense Mitsuru's deep affection for me. Things seem to be getting serious. Makoto! The boy. One of these hearts! They treated the hearts if you're in a romantic relationship with them? That is... I like that detail. That's a net... That special someone, bruh. There's no going back now. Say. I've been thinking about this for a while now, but the way you address me... Mitsuru? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. 
You're on a first-name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. If they change that All in right. game, I've decided. But for the text on, and cutscenes, the two of us. I'll oh, call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. <sighs> Look at all these things you're making me say. You'd better take responsibility for this. Yes, ma'am. Wow! Uh, a hug? Well, this is a start. Don't let go just yet. Good shit, Makoto. Finally. Finally. Finally, bro. Yep. <laughs> move aside, move aside. <laughs> I'm not sure how to express these feelings. All I know is that you're responsible for making me feel this way. Yes, ma'am. I'm on my way. Move aside, everybody. <laughs> Yuki. Is anything wrong? If not, then maybe we could. Did what? I. I see. Okay. So, uh, where should we go? How about. How about my room? There's something I'd like to give you. Dan? Oh, your room kind of big and fancy. Um, Golly. I know this what you want to say. It's kind of like my room, Loki. Our maid staff assisted with the furnishings. I recognize it's a bit beyond standard for a dorm room. Show it's is. almost like a second lounge, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yukari says that to me all the time. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this. You're giving me your motorcycle? It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means of escaping my feelings. Though, I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I'd rather ride with you. Of course, you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When this Absolutely. is all over, I'll teach you how to ride yourself. I'll be okay. looking forward to it. I'm fine with the back. <laughs> I'm fine with the back. Huh? Is that so? Well, if that's what you prefer, I suppose. <laughs> Still, I'd like to be the one holding on to you now and then. My bad, my bad. It's we'll take turns. Still a bit embarrassing to call you by your first name. But when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is more than just a name to me. It's something special. If I were in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. Uh, right. Damn. So, um, I... I want to be with you tonight. Will you stay with me? I didn't get a choice. He said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sura's professor loved me. Seems to want mine in return. Good shit, Makoto. I don't even gotta play the game, uh, bro. You already got it unlocked. Now art I. Yes, sir. The bomb now yes, sir. Had finally matured. The innermost power of the Empress Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the Empress within thyself. Rank up! Mitsu Korijo. Alilut? The ancient goddess. This really is embarrassing. I share a special evening with Mitsu. 